Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to my channel today. Um, this is Karitha Coulter. I'm Chef C from the C Spot. Um, I am cooking today some air fried chicken wings and some air fried onion rings. All this is legal, so you can eat it to your heart's content. And um, we're going to utilize the air fryer that I have in the back. And um, yeah, let's get cooking. Okay, so I've had the chicken wings that I cut um, and I cut the, the tips off. I used to save my tips and I use them when I make chicken stock um, because yeah, I make my own chicken stock. It's fresher that way. And you know what's in it. Um, so these wings have been um, sitting in a rub of um, Chinese spice spice, um, ginger, and then I've got some red chili pepper flakes, um, salt and pepper, a little Italian seasoning, um, and um, garlic and onion powder. All right, so I had them sitting for about 30 minutes um, in, in the fridge, and then I brought them out about 10 minutes ago so they could get to room temperature. You want to cook your meat as close to room temperature as possible. Um, so I'm going to put them in um, the wire basket of my of my air fryer. I've, I've lightly coated this air uh, the the basket with uh, some uh, nonstick cooking spray. Um, the pound, there's Kirkland's brand doesn't matter. I usually get whatever's on sale. I'm a bulk shopper by uh, by habit, so I usually shop at Costco a lot. You're going to put those wings in there, put the basket in, the, um, a pre-setting for the wings, 200 degrees, 15 minutes. I'm probably going to stop it in the middle and rotate the wings, um, turn them all over, and but we're going to uh, start here and we're going to see what we get. So I'll be back in about 15 minutes. Okay, so while the chicken wings are cooking in the air fryer, we're going to go ahead and prepare our onion rings because once we dip them and get them set, we're going to put them in to the freezer for about 10 minutes. Um, that way they're hardened and then they can cook off. Um, we're going to make this legal. And when I say legal, that means it's going to be low carb. And um, we're going to have that. We're going to do that by, this is uh, buttermilk with one egg in it. This is about... Um, a quarter cup of buttermilk and one egg beaten into it. These lovely things here are pork rinds. I just took a, a plain bag of pork rinds, put them in my food processor, ground them up, and then I added some seasoning, some red chili pepper, some onion, some uh, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper in there. And this is your, this is a uh, your replacement for your flour mixture. This is your crunch factor. This is a replacement for your flour mixture. This is almond flour um, that I have the same seasoning in as well because we like to season our food really well. And then I have some chopped onions. All right, so you got your dipping station going, and we're actually going to um, we're actually going to place them on this tray. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lightly coat it with some uh, cookie spray. That way it doesn't stick. I'm a bag user, so all you tree huggers, you're gonna have to forgive me. Because I do believe in using in using the bags my hand. Makes stuff not as messy. And we all don't look, you know, and we all like to contain our mess in one way or another. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dip it in the uh, we're gonna put it in the bag that has the, the flour in it. Almond flour. Shake it up kind of good. Don't expect it to stick per perfectly. Because remember, these onion rings, there's no moisture on there. Alright, so then we're going to take it from, we're going to take one individual one from there, dip it in our egg, dip it in our chicken rooms. It all coat it really good. Put it in your tray. Simple, huh? 
simple things always taste the best. You're going to have plenty of flavor with this mixture. Now, you could also use a um, use a bag in order for your for your uh, pork rinds as well. I did. I didn't want. I already had these chopped up in in, uh, in this in this container, so I'm the one cleaning my kitchen. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm the one that uses it for my kitchen. Mm. All right, let me try it again. I'm trying to be nice to my kitchen help today, so I'm not making a whole lot of this. We came up with this menu because he and I were sitting there craving, he being my husband, bar food. And you know, with COVID, we can't really go out to the bar and watch games and all that kind of good stuff. So we figured, okay, well, what do we want from the bar food? And we decided what we wanted. We wanted something with flavor and crunch. And I was onion rings. So Caritha being Caritha, Google to her heart's content. Found about 15 different recipes. <laughs> and then drafted her own. I will tell you that if you ever want, um, I do sell my spice mix. You can, you don't have to use tongs for this. Um, you use your hands, a lot of people do. Sometimes I, I, I like, I'm a bit on the, uh, I don't want to say. And I don't, I don't want to get my hands messy. So I don't. If you do it by hand, you're going to have to walk in. Remember to have one wet, and one dry if you're doing it by hand. And what I mean by that is one wet, and one dry. You don't need special tools. Again, one wet, one dry. If you don't do it the one wet, one dry method, you're going to have to claw in, which means that after a while it's going to all build up and you're going to have this sort of stuff. Never a good thing. While we practice uh, safe COVID procedures, I almost cut my hand uh, by uh, washing our hands constantly. You don't want to, uh, you don't want to template. Let's talk about the onion that I use. If you can get a medallion onion, that's fine. I use the sweet onion. I remember we talked about portion control in my in my last video, and I will tell you that um, a whole onion is going to give you a lot of onion rings. This is about a half, a quarter to a half. The whole bag was a half. This is about a quarter of it, and we're not even going to use all this. And the reason why is because our bellies are a little smaller since our, since our uh, the operation. And we don't all want to overpack. I have been the victim of overpacking my belly. It's not fun. Not fun. Alright. I think that's about all of my beer is on that tray. And I'm giving it, I'm leaving lots of space. Even lots of space because to get these, you're going to after they harden, you're going to have to get them off. And I don't want to tear out my, I don't like the, the nice little round rings. When I did the practice test uh, the other day, uh, I tore a lot of my rings and was not happy yet. All right, so we have these um, and they're ready to go in the freezer. We're going to freeze them for about 10 minutes and then I'll be back. Okay, so we've got the chicken wings in the air fryer. We've got a minute left on it. Uh, as soon as the timer goes off, we're going to check the temp. We're going to use the thermometer to check our temp. It needs to be around 165-ish um, so that it's actually uh, completely done. Um, we did turn them in, in uh, halfway through. Um, I didn't put that on camera, but everybody knows how to turn chicken, I hope. 
Now, if you don't have an air fryer, it's okay. Don't panic. Use your oven. 350, 400 degrees, depending on what type of oven you have, on how hot it gets. And you're going to put it in the oven for, you're going to do about, you're going to do it about the same time, but you're going to do about 30 minutes. So you have to do, you have to do it longer in the oven. Actually did both. I have some in the air fryer. You heard that the video off. And then I have some that I put in the oven. We this one is around this is around 120, so this is going back in the oven. This is going back in the oven. You can also check and see if, if the juices run clear. I don't necessarily like to do that because if I've marinated the chicken or have any kind of sauce or anything on it, I'm not gonna be able to see the I'm not gonna be able to see the juices. Yeah, they're red, they're ranging around 120 to 140. So I'm gonna put this set back in the oven. Meanwhile, we're gonna go to the air fryer. And can I just tell you for a quick way to cook? This air fryer is really good. And we're going to temp these. Again, we're not going to touch the bone because we want the temperature of the meat. So you want to put it right in the fattest part, get there, fattest part of the uh, of the chicken. And then you're going to do your temp. Dude, we're on it anymore. So we're at around 169, one, actually we're at 170. So we are done. So we're going to let those cool and they're ready to go. So while these cool, I actually, um, while these cool, I'm going to go get the onion rings out of the freezer and we'll start that process. I'll be back. All right. Our onion rings are out of the freezer. They're not frozen solid, but they are uh, harder than they were. So they'll be able to stand up. My, uh, my uh, air fryer came with these racks. And I'm going to use this open rack. I've sprayed it lightly with some with some cooking spray, and then I'm just going to place the onion rings on the rack, and then put the rack in the air fryer. I can actually probably get two uh, both my racks in there, so I'll probably use both my racks. And you don't have to be as <laughs> as special as I'm being about. How you put them on the on, on the uh, on the rack? I'm um, just being special for some reason. You're gonna cook them at 370 to 370 degrees. That'll be about three to four minutes. Doesn't take long. I'm actually going to bring that rack back out because I want to uh, I want to make sure that they brown really nice. This is um, avocado oil. And I just bought a spray bottle and I'm just going to spray it lightly with some avocado oil. Everyone asked me why I chose this uh, um, this type of air fryer instead of the ones that you normally see that have the basket. The reason why is because there's a rotisserie option on this one and I can actually do rotisserie chicken in, the, uh, in my air fryer. We'll do that later. All right, so we're going to set this at 370 degrees. I can figure out how to use my own air fryer. For three to four minutes, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do four, but I'm gonna check it after about three. I'm gonna start it and I will be back with you in a little bit. All right, so we have onion rings. Timer's going off. I hear a sizzle and a sparkle. <laughs> sparkle. Sparkle. Sparkle in your eye. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, so I have a sizzle going and they are crisp. So what we're gonna do now 
because we're going to put them on a plate. Now, what you can do, if you, if you uh, don't think you put enough salt and pepper on your seasoning, you can always salt these afterwards. Um, I'm not going to because I know that my seasoning had enough salt in it. Uh, and again, if you want uh, if you want access to my seasoning, give me a, send me an email at cspotfood at gmail.com. And I'll be happy to arrange getting that seasoning for you. We have successfully made our low carb bar food. We have our air fried chicken wings and the oven chicken wings actually uh, were done as well. So we, we pull those out of the oven. My helper's gonna love me today because I've actually been very, very neat. So we've got our air fried, get me on this one. Mm -hmm. We've got our air fried chicken wings and we've got our onion rings. So we have our bar food. Now, dipping sauces, ranch. Everybody loves ranch. Um, you do a honey mustard if you want it to. Um, little honey, little Frenches. I like Frenches. Um, you can use Heinz if you like to. A little honey, a little Frenches, a little cayenne pepper, mix it up, honey mustard. Um, you can use ranch. You have your Hidden Valley, you've got your craft, you have your homemade, which is what I do. And then, um, since these are Asian spice, you could also use sweet chili sauce and dip them in it. Or you could just have them straight up because they are really good this way. My helper has already nibbled and he gave his thumbs up on, on the seasoning. Um, so we are ready to go. <laughs> you know? These, this meal took around 20 minutes all together to cook. And you can do this. It's simple, simple for game night. Um, Thursday, we're football fans here. So go Steelers, go Panthers. Um, so we have, uh, we do game night and we want a bar food. We're going to do another segment of the bar food where we actually do air fried, um, air fried cheeseburgers and hickam and french fries. Um, you'll be amazed. And we're probably going to do some uh, acorn squash fries as well. So this is going to be uh, a good adventure for us. Eating, eating uh, good, flavorful food the right way in small portions. Now, this portion is huge. I will only eat, be able to eat maybe four, uh, four of those chicken wings and maybe about four of those onion rings. That's it. My spouse probably can eat around five to six of the chicken wings and probably around six or seven of the of the onion rings. This portion would feed us for at least two two meals, two meals a piece. So think about portion sizes whenever you whenever you're cooking, especially those of you who are bariatric patients. Um, if you like this video, like and subscribe, leave a comment below, and let me know what you like to see next. Thank you for coming and cooking with me today. It's been a pleasure. Have a good one. Remember to enjoy the journey.